Tired of long waits and rushed care at the ER and urgent care clinic? Next time, stay home and let Dispatch Health bring the power of the hospital to you. I call Dispatch Health. A care team of medical professionals actually come to your house. They're the same caliber of people that you would see if you were at a hospital or an urgent care. Dispatch Health can treat most non-life-threatening emergencies. They can do the x-rays, they can do stitches. Urinary tract infections, blood tests, urinalysis, ultrasound. It's almost everything that they can do at the ER. You never feel rushed. They're there for you and only you. I felt like their only patient. And it costs no more than a trip to urgent care because Dispatch Health is covered by most insurance, including Medicare. See if we serve your home at DispatchHealth.com. Dispatch Health really went above and beyond. It's wonderful to have care come to your home. House calls are back, and they're better than ever. Learn more at DispatchHealth.com. Welcome back to the Macro Bitching Show, as we'll call it. Listen, we need to talk. I need to get some shit off my chest. Um, This is not going to sit well with with everybody, but I'm sure you know what's coming due to the title. So I was uh, going to the post office this morning, and there was a, I can only assume it was the old guy's vehicle, but there was a guy, I would say 70s at minimum, maybe 80s as of years and age, he was in there talking to the, the dude at the post office and there's a car in the only customer spot that wasn't me. And, uh, this SUV had stickers on the back infowars.com, a sticker that just said Alex Jones with a question mark, um, stop CRT critical race theory. Uh, nine 11 was an inside job and other info wars type stuff. So let, let's, let's say one thing right now. Uh, older does not equal wiser. I I've, I've seen this a lot because it's the older folks that are susceptible to this stuff. Now, let me preface before I get going hardcore on this topic. This has absolutely nothing to do with with Joseph R. Biden, Mr. Robinette himself. Nothing to do with it. Here's the thing. Anytime anyone opens their mouth in regards to QAnons being crazy or the far right being bad for the country or anything along those lines, especially on social media, which is just pure garbage, Twitter is fucking terrible, but everyone just instantly responds to your criticisms with Biden speak. So I I think a lot of people that would never vote Republican would also admit that Joe Biden does have issues. Like, you know, there, there are issues there. There's age. I mean, he is very old. He is slipping. It is obvious the other day he said, I got two words for you made in America, man, that's a, you, you are slipping. If you say two words and then say three, does that mean he's a terrible guy? I don't know. I don't know him. I don't trust politicians. I am not a fan of the, the setup of this government. You know, I I think there's a lot of issues and I'm not just predominantly very much against the far right. And I am very much against the far right. I'm against JD Vance here in Ohio. Hardcore dude's a fucking idiot. I'm going to, I'm going to say some shit. You can turn it off if you want. It's this is your right. You don't have to listen to this, but I had to get some shit off my chest. That JD Vance guy's just stupid. Marjorie Taylor green, absolute moron. Lauren Boebert, maybe even more moronic than Marjorie Taylor green. Uh, a lot, a lot of these folks are just absolute fucking imbeciles and, and they're on both sides, but the biggest example 
of absolute ridiculousness in government is the far right, is the QAnon folks, is the, uh, you know, the, these ass kissers, these people that did not want Trump in office. And then once he got in and, and he showed them the way of snaky, weaselly bullshit to try to stay in office like Ted Cruz and Lindsey Graham and all those motherfuckers, like they're, they're just trash ass human beings, you know? And there's, again, there's trash ass human beings on the left too, but they're more secret about it. They're more hidden about it. They're more, you know, uh, like, I will be the first to admit like, what the fuck is Kamala Harris, Kamala Harris, whatever. What has she done? Like what, what, what has she done at all? You know, I have criticisms on both sides, but there's a level of ridiculousness where you just fucking laugh and you're like, these people are, you know, against everyone, of course, is against, uh, you know, pedophilia and sickos like that. But you got a guy named Matt Gates who's sick. Dude's fucking sick. But those two fucking girls, Marjorie Taylor Greene, Lauren Bober, they fucking love this guy. Fucking love him. Like, if they had daughters that were 17, they'd be like, oh, Matt, take my daughter out. Fuck, fuck, take, please, Matt, please, butthead. God, he looks just like butthead. Oh, my God. But the car this morning really sparked it for me. And I live in Ohio, and it is so dominant here. Listen, if you want to put up a sign or a flag that says Biden is not my president, you go right ahead. Like that is fair. A lot of people when Trump got elected said Trump is not my president. That is fair. If you want to claim that they're not your president, you don't support them, that's fine. But to hang a flag that says fuck Joe Biden, that my nine and six year old kids who are both very fluent readers look at and say, what? why dad what uh, what and i my response has to be like we live amongst trash children we live amongst some ignorant motherfuckers that put that kind of bullshit up flags of trump standing on a tank ripped to shreds with a fucking like machine gun what the fuck is wrong with you what the fuck is wrong with you that you pay for that image to hang outside of your house. He's a traitor, folks. I mean, the man's a fucking greedy, moronic traitor. I'm sure there's some of those on the other side too, but again, they're hidden. They're much more reserved, much more quiet about the bullshit that they do. Meanwhile, you got all these far right fuckers that are very open about it. And some people be like, well, I'd rather be open about it than hide it. No, because when they're open about it, It just gives everyone else permission to be open about their hatred, greed, and everything else. And they don't reel themselves in at all. They're just out in the, this is how people get hurt. This is why there's people dying of political argument. This is why there's violence. You know, people don't reel themselves in anymore. They don't keep some of these things in their circle. Like if you want, you know, it's kind of like what, racist clans folk and those kind of fucks do they have meetings and they're private and you know they're scheming but when you're not private and you're out demonstrating hate and greed and violence like people are going to get hurt they're going to die not saying it's okay to be hateful and greedy and all that shit in the confines of a group or meeting style setting but at least you're with like-minded people and you're probably not going to kill each other or hurt each other. But these fucking wackadoodles with their flags and their stickers and their bullshit and everybody, you know, people, people's sticker, people's cars are plastered with this shit. The let's go Brandon garbage. Like, is there a, is there a more moronic fucking phrase out there right now than let's go Brandon? That is the dumbest mother. Listen, if you can't grasp the fact that, this is so stupid to be so wrapped up in politics and humans that you've never met and do not give a fuck about you. They do not. You think that Donald Trump or Biden or any of these people like give a fuck about you in particular. They don't. 
They do not. It's the same way if you, most people, I will say, if you hear about a person that lives 3,000 miles away and something bad happens to them, like you may have a shred of like gut punch that's like, oh, that's terrible. You move on really fucking quick. Politicians move on even quicker than that. Donald Trump doesn't even have to move on because he doesn't give a fuck about anyone. And he, and and people think that like they love us and they love America. You're fucking insane. You've lost your goddamn mind. Let me spit a few things at you just just because I wanted to get this shit off my chest today. I did not ask to be born and live in America. That doesn't mean that I am not appreciative of some of the opportunities that that has presented to me. But to take ownership of a place that you happen to be born in and grow up in is fine. But to take it to an extreme, I'm a patriot. You're a dumbass. That you're that's stupid. Like, you know what living your best life is? Living your best life is being happy every day. I cannot help but wonder if all these people on the internet arguing about politics back and forth, fuck, I'm owning you, I'm trolling you, own the libs, own the fucking, you know, magatards. That's, there's no way you're happy doing that all day. I see people that are literally talking about arguing politics online all day. Are you fucking happy? Does that make you happy? Because if so, you're fucking sick. You're fucking sick, man. Tired of long waits and rushed care at the ER and urgent care clinic? Next time, stay home and let Dispatch Health bring the power of the hospital to you. I call Dispatch Health. A care team of medical professionals actually come to your house. They're the same caliber of people that you would see if you were at a hospital or an urgent care. Dispatch Health can treat most non-life-threatening emergencies. They can do the x-rays. They can do stitches. Urinary tract infections, blood tests, urinalysis, ultrasound. It's almost everything that they can do at the ER. You never feel rushed. They're there for you and only you. I felt like their only patient. And it costs no more than a trip to urgent care because Dispatch Health is covered by most insurance, including Medicare. See if we serve your home at DispatchHealth.com. Dispatch Health really went above and beyond. It's wonderful to have care come to your home. House calls are back and they're better than ever. Learn more at DispatchHealth.com. Like there's there's a, a fellow... And I won't go into great detail. Nice guy. Super nice guy. Local. I, I want to call him a friend. But every time I get around this dude who is otherwise really nice, wants to fucking crack jokes about politics. It's like, dude, I don't want to talk about politics. Obviously, I am right now. But I just had to get this shit out. Like, who the fuck really wants to spend their time talking about people who run the country? That the only power we have is to to vote in mass numbers to get them in power without knowing anything about their character except for what they show on TV. How the fuck are you going to make that your baseball? How are you going to make that your national pastime? Are you fucking kidding me? So instead of raising your kids and, and being happy with your family And going out and trying to do good in the world for other people. Going out and actually trying to make a difference in your spare time. And it can be in a litany of ways. You could could give a kid a ride somewhere. You could help a kid buy lunch. You could pay, uh, if somebody's short, you know, 75 cents in a grocery line and you pay that. Man, that feels a whole lot better than talking shit about Biden and Trump and all these other stupid fucks. That feels so much better. Like, how are you spending your time? Are you spending your time arguing politics? I know some people get into it and they like politics, but it is no different than watching the Kardashians. That shit is no different than watching reality television because that's what it is. It's reality news and reality television. It's just all bullshit. And I admit, I get sucked up into the headlines. I do 
come into work every morning. I open my web. I scat when I fuck up. I do open my web browser and I look at all the day's headlines and the news and this and that out of curiosity. But I don't talk about the shit that I read to one fucking person. Again, we all know this. You're not changing anyone's mind with how you believe and how you feel. So rip the goddamn stickers off the back of your car that make you look like an absolute fucking moron. Rip the flags off your house. I have never, ever, ever, ever in my fucking 40 years on this planet seen a flag or a anything outside besides a political sign at the time of elections. Have I ever seen someone advertising a president or presidential candidate's name? I've never seen an Obama flag. I've never seen a George W. flag. I've never seen a Biden flag. I've never seen any of that shit. But some stupid orange fucking greedy raping fuck has flags all over this country because he gives you, he, he is a nationality. Trumpism is a nationality. It gives you the right to say as much hurtful and terrible bullshit as you want because our president does back when he was president. Here's another thing. QAnon folks who say Biden is uh, just the TV president and Trump's really running everything behind the scenes. Well, if that's true, Trump fucked you on gas. Fucked you right in the ass on gasoline if he's really running everything behind the scenes. People are so fucking dumb. Like, it's just, and I hate to talk bad about people, but I've never, ever been so appalled by a group of people as I am this new MAGA shit. If it has a name, it's probably a cult. MAGA. It's a cult. Here's another thing. Democrats need to fucking do something about the way they present themselves because you've got all these Republicans calling themselves patriots. We're patriots. Bush light Marlboro's NASCAR. Woohoo. God damn it. Come on. Democrats don't say anything about being proud Americans or anything. And I, and I'm not saying that like they should, because it's right. No, I don't talk about being a proud American. I don't fucking have an American flag anywhere on my property. This, and it's not because I don't appreciate things. It's because I'm not in a cult, but they don't even, they don't even like say anything to try to get those uh, God bless America people on their side. It's just fucking mess. It's goddamn mess. If we do have a civil war, it's understandable. Why it just is. This is all so stupid. It blows my mind every day. And I thought whenever this all changed, like, you know, cause it bounces back and forth all the time. You got Republican, Democrat, Republican, Democrat. He's president. He's president. He's president. Hopefully she's president someday. They switch back and forth. It's, it's always back and forth because no one's ever happy with anything. They say they're happy, but they're not really. They're still bitching about something. But I thought, you know, this shit would kind of fade and Trump shit has faded. I've seen much less flags, much less. And you don't see Biden shit anywhere. Nobody fucking nobody's all up in the whole Biden thing. There's no there's no cult there around him. In fact, most people that voted for him probably not real happy with with the job that he's done. And, and, and that's understandable. I can understand that. But it, it's still, it is still just a me versus you rhetoric. Us versus them rhetoric. How about we say fuck all of those guys? All we can do is vote. So we still vote. But after we vote, we're done. You know, after we vote, we accept the, the results and we're done. Because believe me, the results are the results. You're not changing it, even if it's fraudulent. You're not changing it. No one will change it. You will not control the government. There will, there will not be an uprising of people large enough for a revolution. It just won't happen. Too divided. The country is way too divided for that to happen. And there are not as many... MAGA people out there as you think they're everywhere, but most of them just like to wear 
a patriotic shirt from old Navy and talk about how they're a patriot. They don't actually do anything about it. Much like anyone who votes for Democrats, they like to say that they're all about equality and this and that, but they don't do anything to support what they say. <clears throat> it's all just talking points. It's all just something to brag about. Or, you know, even though it's not worth bragging about, that, that's what they do. People wear shirts. I'm a patriot. Paid $6 for this American flag hat. Good for you, motherfucker. Good for you. I'm going to wear a plain t-shirt and a plain hat because I don't give a fuck about promoting anyone or anything. That's not true. I have Puma shoes and I do have some band t-shirts and this and that. So that's that's not true. But I'll be damned if I ever put a fucking man's name on my body. I will never put a man's name on my body. Not going to happen. A woman? Yes, I have a Britney Spears shirt. Let me rephrase. I will never put a politician or someone running for office, their name will never adorn any clothing I ever fucking wear because to me it's instant ignorance. You don't fucking know them. You may think you know what they stand for and what they're all about. You don't. How many people have you met in your lifetime that you thought were cool and then you're disappointed? Only to be disappointed. I've made friends and been like, oh man, this is this is going to be a good, a good friendship. And then a few months later, I'm like, fuck, boy, was I wrong. I didn't know that person at all. But you're going to say and think that you know a millionaire, billionaire person and that he's cool? Word? No. Elon Musk, same thing. Fuck you, Elon. Anybody with that much money that's not making a huge difference in the world? So you build an electric car, good for fucking you. Do something meaningful. You're not here very long. You're not on this earth very long. You don't have much time. In fact, you're running out of time real quick. Elon's in what, his 50s? Early 50s? 49, 50? You better fucking do something with all that money before it just goes to some bullshit. But he probably won't because he doesn't truly care. Just like Trump doesn't truly care. Just like Joseph Robinette doesn't truly care. They don't care. They're not going to do anything good. So many people with money out there, they could change this whole fucking world, but do they? No. They don't. Some of them do. Look at uh, Jeff Bezos' ex-wife. She's given away billions already. That woman is already given away. Is she giving it to the right place? I don't know. I don't, I don't know if it's ever, if it's really making a difference, but I think she's trying. If you're just holding on to the money, you're not trying if you're just sinking it back into electric cars and, and Mars, like you're not really trying. It's a fucking pipe dream, dude. You're going to die before your vision is, is, uh, has come to fruition way, way, way before it comes to fruition. This is a uh, silly shit. So I guess my, my words of wisdom for the day are, are basically just this. And it's not, you, you may not call it wisdom. This may just be a pure bitch session that you're like, well, that was pointless and that's fine. I hope you turned it off a long time ago if that was the case, but every day fucking find something good to do. Find something to do that will help or make someone happy. Something, even if it's just chatting someone up that looks lonely, do something other than sticking a bunch of fucking InfoWars stickers on your car and fuck Joe Biden and let's go Brandon. I don't even see stickers the opposite direction. Like anything bad about Trump, anything bad about Republicans. You know why? Because it's stupid. If you want to know if you're being petty and ignorant, just do you have stickers or flags like against another group of people? If you don't, you're good. If you do, whether it's against Democrats or Republicans or any other group of people, Black Lives Matter, Fucking anything. If you have something showing that you disagree with someone in sticker or shirt or hat form, go fuck yourself. Go fuck yourself. Because you are being petty and ridiculous and you're helping no one. You are helping not one single human on this earth have a better life 
and you're not even having a good life yourself. End of rant. Fuck politics. Fuck people in power. Fuck people who advertise politicians and people in power. And thank you for listening. of long waits and rushed care at the ER and urgent care clinic? Next time, stay home and let Dispatch Health bring the power of the hospital to you. I call Dispatch Health. A care team of medical professionals actually come to your house. They're the same caliber of people that you would see if you were at a hospital or an urgent care. Dispatch Health can treat most non-life-threatening emergencies. They can do the x-rays. They can do stitches. Urinary tract infections, blood tests, urinalysis, ultrasound. It's almost everything that they can do at the ER. You never feel rushed. They're there for you and only you. I felt like their only patient. And it costs no more than a trip to urgent care because Dispatch Health is covered by most insurance, including Medicare. See if we serve your home at DispatchHealth.com. Dispatch Health really went above and beyond. It's wonderful to have care come to your home. House calls are back and they're better than ever. Learn more at DispatchHealth.com.